Oh my god. Okay. Uh first things first. Uh I I don't know if I don't think anybody cared, but I haven't uploaded in a while because I just recently moved. This is the first time I'm recording in my new room. So it may sound weird. Um the room is more echoey than usual. Um so in the move First off, I didn't get my computer actually hooked up for like two days, and then when we did get hooked up, it didn't work. I only got this working uh, two days ago. That was um, on Christmas. This video should be coming up on December 30th, and December 30th is the day I uploaded my very first YouTube video, and that very first video was a game called Milk Inside a Bag of Milk Inside a Bag of Milk. This is the sequel, a bag of uh, a bag of milk outside a bag of milk. Um, I am extremely excited for it. Um, so this is the one year anniversary of my channel, and I'm playing the sequel, and I'm happy I'm playing it. I'm in my new house again. I'm sorry again. I don't think anybody cared um, about the mess up with the upload thing, but this is like this was like my top priority once I got my computer working. All right. Everything should be going fine. I checked. I checked everything. Okay. Game contains flashing lights and touches on heavy topics. Take care. So, happy one year anniversary of me playing games for no reason at all. And we have a cutscene. Okay. Um... The sequel should take place. 45, 46, 37, 48, 48 50. <laughs> uh, the game should take place directly after the first one is finished. I'm gonna uh, honestly probably play the first one yourself. It was only um. Wait, is this actually like a recap of the first game? Also, this is new. I think so. Cause yeah, we went and got milk. This is already really, really cool. Because th nothing was like this in the original. Uh, yeah, so play the first game yourself. Don't watch my video, because it was garbage. It was my very first video I ever recorded. Um, it won't take much time. Uh, guitar? What do you see? I remember, like, because I was like, I had this on my wish list forever before it came out. I remember one of the features was an oppressive soundtrack. I don't know what that means, but I, I like the guitar. Oh, oh Jesus. So I haven't seen anything from the sequel. All right. Continue. Yeah, I'm gonna continue. I'm so excited. I'm so happy. I've been wanting. I've been. I've had this game like on like my wish list ever since it was announced, and it's finally out. I'm so excited. <laughs> All right, new game. I don't know how long this is either. The uh, original was only about 30 minutes long. I completed two playthroughs. Oh, on my video that was only a half hour long. So I guess. Playing it. Oh Jesus. First time was only like uh 15 minutes. I just did two playthroughs. I'm walking to my room, trying not to look around. Playful shadows dance around me here and there. They dash all over the walls, the ceiling. One of those shadows whizzes past me, touching my face ever so slightly. I smile and continue walking, paying it no mind. Sometimes it's so easy to lose self-control and track, and track of time spinning in a joyful dance. But I'm in a bit of a hurry here. Mom told me to go to bed. Alright. I remember in the first game, you basically play as the personification of, like, her medicine, of, like... I guess this would be schizophrenia. I walk past the kitchen on the way to my room. The door is shut, but I can still feel the chilling air coming from the other side. My first thought is that there's a living corpse blowing into the keyhole. Laughing... Uh... Living... A living corpse blowing into the keyhole, laughing... Mockingly. That's so silly. <laughs> I'm absolutely sure we have no corpses in our kitchen. 
I know for sure that we've never had any corpses in our kitchen. I'm absolutely sure of that. Oh boy. Yeah, this is so like new for the first one. I break into a run and dash towards the closed door. The shadows intensify their chaotic dance. Are they trying to stop me or calm me down? I don't know. It doesn't matter right now. Don't you get it? <laughs> I move my hands around as I run, trying to chase away my annoying pursuers, but then I suddenly realize I won't be able to stop in time. I've got no other choice to break the door now. Oh. If there's somebody inside, I'll surely scare them to death. <laughs> Boy, how can I scare to death someone who's already dead? What if it actually revives them? No, no, no. I don't want that. What do I do? I couldn't fully complete my thought when my shoulder hit the door and it flew open. Just bust down the door. Jesus. As I expected, there was no living corpse inside, but there was a bag of uh, but there was a bag of milk I bought today, sitting right in the middle of the table, watching me with its unblinking eyes. I stare back. Nothing happens. Oh, this is, I'm pretty sure this game is Russian, which. I guess they have bags of milk in Russia. I know bags of milk is a Canadian thing, but, um, I don't know. Uh, I didn't know any other countries, but I guess maybe Russia does it, because I'm pretty sure this is a Russian game. Although, what exactly did I expect? Gratitude? Have I ever done something that warranted? A bag of milk probably doesn't care whether it's on the shelf, in a store, or on the table in my mom's kitchen. On the other hand, nobody would drink mil milk inside the store, which means I took it from the safest place in the world and into Scary Unknown. I'm so sorry, you poor thing. People will absolutely drink milk in a store. I've seen fucking videos. <laughs> People are weird. Stone Cold Steve Austin did it. <laughs> I turn away in shame and leave the room in a hurry. I, I only bring others trouble. I walk towards my room through a narrow corridor. Oh, this is mom, isn't it? meet a familiar formless creature at the door. It looks me in its clutches and starts sniffing every inch of my body like a hungry dog. I'm not struggling. I know it's useless. I just stay silent and endure its tight grip that stops me from moving. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is mom. Because, uh, this is what kind of she looked like after the, in the first one. Hi, mom. Mother dearest. After sniffing from my head to toe, the creature holds out its ugly paws, bearing a single claw, thin and sharp like a blade. Again, I stare questioningly into the monster's bottomless eye sockets. Don't move. The creature squeezes in my hand until my veins start bulging. And I just keep staring into the black cavities where its eyes should be, ignoring all pain. I've promised so many times. Stay put. Oh Jesus! No one says that its claws pierces in my arm. I don't feel anything other than the barely discreditable. The barely discernible crawling under my skin in the rain of tightly sprung sinews. Sinews? I've never seen that word before. Never even heard of it. But then, then the claw injects its venom into me. It hurts. A white veil appears in front of my eyes. My fingers cramp and start twitching frantically. I lose control over my body and slowly slide to the floor. Just like last time, but why do I feel so hot? I feel my blood boiling up. Strong shivers run through my body, paralyzing every single cell, while my vein and arteries heat up, almost bursting from the pressure. This game is- this sequel is way more fucked up than the first one. I try screaming, but instead of producing words, I vomit thick, milky foam. The creature notices it and throws itself at, at me in anger, grabbing me by the throat while keeping the poisonous claw inside my arm. Kill me. Jesus Christ. This is so fucked up. Hysterical screams rising through the corridor, and in a fit of madness, the creature starts scratching my neck. Bright uh, bright splashes fly over, hitting the walls with a loud sound. I tried to imprint where every drop fell in my memory so I could gather them all later. I need to remember. I need a new wave of pain rushes over me. Everything turns pitch black in an instant. Jesus Christ, the first one was just kind of creepy. This is, like, horrible. I'll never drink milk ever again. I say it. I'll never drink milk ever again. Say it again. I'll never drink milk ever again. What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Okay. Hi. I'm pretty sure, um... Uh, her name is actually... I don't know if it's ever, like, canon, but I remember, like, in the descriptions of the game itself, her name is Milk-Chan, which is kind of funny. I finally get to my room. I'm so tired of all this fuss. Thankfully, I still feel comfy and warm in my room, even though weird sounds coming from the outside don't make me anxious at all. 
Mom told me to go to bed, so I need to perform all of the needed preparations. I wash my face, and I'm sitting in front of the mirror with a toothbrush in my mouth. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> I look at my reflection. It shows absolutely no desire to sleep. Yeah, I get how you feel. You look pretty tired. You have, like, the little bags under your eyes. What was that noise? <laughs> it's like a door opening. And there was a time when the last minute before I sleep were my favorite time of the day. I love anticipating the inevitable moment when the reality and the dream world would clash. I woke up for that moment's sake, lived through the day. My biggest dream was to sleep all day long. It would have been so cool, but the dream slowly but surely slipped away. As if somebody f uh, fished them out of my head one after another, one after another, until nothing was left. Now I have to sleep again, even though I don't feel any need for it. Huh. Okay. Pills. I'm trying to look at the background, like, I don't care what the background is. After f uh, finishing with my face, I usually reach out for my pills. It's funny, but I have no idea how they work separately since I always swallow them as a bunch without thinking. Now I have to have, uh, now that I have, I want to have a better look at it to twirl it between my fingers to chew on it. I do anything to the stall for just a little bit more time. A smooth protruded red capsule is looking at me. It's covered in a murky semi transparent film, but I still uh, can still discern its con content contents. So what do we have inside you? I gently press on the capsule from both sides, and to my surprise, it turns out to be soft and squishy. I press harder and the capsule pops. Sticky, bright, lead looking pours out. Filthy, filthy. <laughs> the pill falls straight to the waste bin, and I start rigorously washing my hands. No, there's no way I'm drinking that. Uh, next was a flat pill of the, of the same blood red color. There were some letters printed on it. Oh, I get it. This is the medicine that makes me really sleepy, but it's not the time I, type I sleep. Not the type of sleep I want, that's not it at all, it's fake. No, 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 I don't even want to look at it. Waste bin as well. Okay, so she's just having a full breakdown and throwing away all her medicine, Jesus Christ. Schizo. <laughs> Schizo girl. The next half an hour goes by in a similar fashion. I study every pill from all sides and then I find a reason not to swallow it. I invent my own medicine instead and enjoy swallowing them one after another, letting myself drown in the healing effects. My neck doesn't hurt anymore. My hand doesn't hurt anymore. My head doesn't hurt anymore. My heart doesn't hurt anymore. Stomach doesn't hurt. My eyes don't hurt. How come I didn't think of this earlier? It's so simple. I need to brag about it to someone right away. But not to my mom. She'll just scold me. And she's sure I'm already sleep and she's sure I'm already sleeping anyway. I don't want to disturb her without reason. I'll think of something myself. <laughs> Besides, I just really want some small talk. I wonder who's gonna be my conversation partner. Is it gonna be me? Yep. Hi. Nice place. <laughs> Damn bitch, you live like this. Hi. Hey, long time no see. Uh, it hasn't even been an hour, dummy. You know we're supposed to only meet one per day, right? I'll say, uh, because no one else is going to say it, but also I guess I'm the only one person talking. She's super cute. She's cool. Uh, I don't know what... There you go, bullying me. I'm not bullying you. Aren't you even a little bit happy? Not even the slightest bit. Pretty exhausted after today. Well, I guess you are too. I'm happy. I like you. You're cool. That's not true. You need to go to bed. No, you've been in control for way too long already. It's my turn now. All right. So yeah, last game I was like the personification of her medicine. So I guess maybe this is what um, I'm also going to be. Or maybe I'm just like a schizophrenic delusion to her, probably. I'll just stay silent until the medicine's effects wear off. How about that? Hey, you can't do that. You need to do your best to make me feel better. That's exactly what I'm doing. What a bully. <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't have any other choice. I want to talk to you. Actually, why am I even worried about this? In reality, I don't need you at all. Hmm? I'm so energetic and I feel great, which means I can do anything. And you, you can only watch and agonize over your uselessness. Alright, Jesus Christ, don't be mean to me. You're, you're mad that I'm bullying you. You're being calling me useless. I can imagine how angry you are right now. Yeah, I'm all beside myself. Uh, what made you so happy all of a sudden? And why would I be sad? Remember yourself a couple hours ago. I don't know what you mean. Stop lying. Uh, I still don't understand. <laughs> Whatever, unlike you, I won't forget that pathetic snotty girl for a long time. She just whines and whines all the time. Don't even try ruining my mood. Why are we being so mean to her? I want to be nice to her. I want to have fun while we're together, alright? So you're the one calling the shots now. Yeah. Well, let's see how long you can last. We'll see. Yeah. I am really that pathetic. 
No, you're cool. I can't click on anything else. Say something. I can feel tears streaming down my cheeks, hanging from the chin, and then falling on my clothes, burning holes in them. That was fast, but not unexpected. At least I tried. Good, good job, Milkchen. I'm rooting for you. The game is being, making me be mean to you, but I like you. Go wash your face, and then we'll decide what to do with you. God. Oh, uh, I thought nothing was going on for a second. Uh, she has like, are these like Polaroids? I'm in front of the mirror again. I keep staring at my reflection, trying not to get distracted by the sneery look and the walls are giving me, trying not to drown in their giggling. But then in the mirror also shows me a creepy smile, bears my teeth at me. I shut my eyes, but that doesn't help. I wouldn't have even helped if I sunk through the floor. I start counting in my mind. Two squared, two by two squared, a squared squared, a square pyramid squared, a uh, pyramidal structure cubed, a pyramidal structure hypercubed. I feel better, but my head is splitting apart now. Sorry for being rude. It's not your fault. It's never your fault. Fine, you can keep on blaming yourself, but don't overdo it. I don't know why, but I thought I'd be able to take control. I was almost ready to. I sure I'd be able to change something. After all, I was able to buy milk, you know? Yeah, I'm, I'm proud of you, Milk Chan. You bought that milk. Yeah, you ought to know how challenging it was. I know it was challenging. I played with you. Back to the medicine. Uh, is that why you threw away the medicine? What a stupid decision, right? <sighs> Whatever it was, was your decision, or undoubtedly. I want to be nice to her, but these are both... This seems like, passive-aggressive, and this is like, yeah, you're dumb. <laughs> undoubtedly. And there's a good side to it. I don't want to say not take your medicine. What's that? What does that mean you're getting better? Nonsense. Medicine is something you're supposed to take, not toss away. But you were happy for a bit, and then I, I ruined it. It's my fault. Stupid. It's so stupid. Then why'd you do it? I thought I could be able to fight on my own. It's true. The pain subsided for a bit at the time, but now I feel it triple in force. It hurts so bad. You'll know what to do. Dejected, I reach out for the shelf of the medicine. I swallow the pills one after another, chasing away the unpleasant visions that keep floating up in my memory. And yet, my mind still draws a terrifying picture. Lumps of co <laughs> coagulated blood and transport coating traveling down my esophagus, scratching at the soft walls, leaving behind furrows. I shake my head violently. I don't care if it makes me feel dizzy or worse than my pain. I just don't want to think about something so repulsive. You still haven't changed. What do you mean? You're afraid of being alone. This means you're much more than pain. Yeah, I guess. I toss the last pill into the air and catch it. <laughs> really? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Why'd you do like a trick with it? <laughs> I don't do that. I just take medicine. I'm Milk Chan. You kind of look like... Nah, I guess not. You kind of look like Lane, but not really. I guess it's just kind of like the depressive and schizo part of it. <laughs> I lay on the floor, I look at the ceiling, I can clearly hear water uh, running in the metal pipes up there. I hear the cracking of concrete blocks that will someday surely fall on my head, but I'm not afraid of that at all. I can't imagine my death coming from above. Rather, it's raining its claws from somewhere below, waiting for me to lose focus. That, is that like an outlet above her head? Why is it like massive? Uh, do you want to talk about it? No, I've had enough of talking. Oh, okay. Um, just gonna chill. You look pretty comfy. What do you want then? I just want to lie down for a bit. Okay, I'll let her lie down. Just vibing. <laughs> I don't want to. want to freak her out saying that the ceiling's gonna collapse on her. Oh Jesus! So this is looking up, right? I carefully extract thoughts that are yet to be fully formed from my head and lie them on the ceiling in orderly rows. Now it's on my corkboard. Um. Uh, in hopes of seeing the whole picture, I switch them from one place to another, pile them on top of each other, scatter them around. In the end, I throw them off with my hand, annoyed and start over. Can't do it. 
You can always hear Metro's muscle as thoughts of something small and swarming. My cockroaches, don't say that. Yeah, do I hate cockroaches. Can I make them fireflies? I don't mind either way. Oh. The music in this game is really good. I don't even have time to blink before my thoughts. They're fireflies now. <laughs> Start rolling all over the ceiling in their own accord from whimsical patterns. I can only observe them late for the right moment. It's just that moment doesn't come. Jesus Christ. The mocking sounds of flapping wings coming from the ceiling make me start losing my patience. Enough, I hate you. <laughs> oh, poor fireflies. <laughs> yeah, looking around her room is insane. Maybe that's why I think she looked like a lane, because her room's a fucking mess. I swing my feet and scream at the top of my lungs. The fireflies scatter. Good job, now start over. Oh. No way. Unstable behavior makes you look bad. I don't give a damn. <laughs> so that doesn't bother you. Should it? I don't know. I mean, yeah, kind of. And what do you want me to do then? I don't know, it's up to you. <laughs> you at it again. What do you mean? Never mind. And I've changed my mind anyway. Uh, please don't stay silent for this long anymore. I'm having a hard time without your help. <laughs> Why can't... Fine. I raise my eyes look at the ceiling once more. Sadly, all my fireflies seem to be hiding somewhere. I need to find them. <sighs> I don't know. Should we help her? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. <laughs> um... You still need, probably need to go to bed. No, you don't get it. If I'm thinking... If I'm thinking about something, I need to finish my thought, or else. I guess they're in the room. There are too many places for a creature as small as a firefly to hide here. They can be anywhere. Suddenly I hear a deafening rumble. The clock just hit midnight. It's so late already, but I can't go to bed right now. Will you help me? Please tell me you'll help me. Come on, stop bullying me. You promised to talk to me. Uh, what were you thinking while lying on the floor? What do you mean? You should know it better than anyone else. That's the thing. I have no idea. This is weird. Will you tell me? I... Shh, that scared me. <laughs> uh... Hi, electrical pole. She is a lane! I roll my sleeves and start rubbing my eyes intensely. They are so itchy. Oh god, why are you crying? My eyes are itchy. Did you drink milk? Did you bring milk? I wonder, if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, will my eyes stop itching? No. I wonder if I tear out all my eyelashes one after another, all my eyelashes one after another. What have you done? I need to gather the glass, and then I need to have a bath, and then... Here, drink some milk. Achievement. First death. Uh... <laughs> I stand in the middle of my room, my mouth, what the fuck is happening, this game is, this one's really amped up, the weirdness, the first one was just kinda weird, this is like, fucking insane. I stand in the middle of my room, my mouth agape, grasping for air, I think I just experienced death, I don't know any other way to explain what happened. Well, that was surely something. <laughs> Will you tell me or not? But what, she looks so happy here, I feel bad for her. Let's look for the fireflies instead. You're acting weird. Help me instead of running your mouth. I've already had enough adventures before bed. I need to gather my thoughts quickly and go to bed. And my thoughts are hiding from me. <laughs> to be honest, I have no idea where to look for them. Me neither. Uh, I guess I'll have to tear the whole place apart. That's... No, 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 and no. Uh, if I make even the smallest of messes here, I'll feel really bad. All the things should stay in their places, and that's it. Why? Are you trying to come up with a reason right now? You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. I don't, and I won't. Alright then, so we need to find a bunch of tiny insects and hide a mountain of junk without moving anything even an inch. Yeah! <laughs> She's so cute. I like her. My oh my. I have an idea. Last time, becoming a visual novel character helped me achieve my goal. Now I want to become a, a point-and-click adventure game character. You know, those games have moments when you just look at different objects and something inevitably happens. 
sound so fun. <laughs> and what about the things you use regularly? Do you refuse to touch them as well? It would make it even more interesting. This is so childish. And I don't know what the best part is. You'll be the one doing it. Oh no. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> I love her. I start panicking as soon as I get in multiple choice situations. I'll just keep changing my mind and end up crying and running away. Do you want that to happen? You're a handful. You're already proven that we were able to make decisions. Why not continue on that road? I go to the middle of the room and look around. Where would I hide if a tiny firefly? This is so thrilling. My heart gets uh, warmer from the pleasant intense mission. Hey. What? Look down. I look down. After a moment, a small bio of light comes warm uh, under my sweater. Wowie. <laughs> Wowie zowie. Wowie. The smoke coming from it goes, no. Wowie. <laughs> Oh, this looks cool. I like that. Uh, I carefully grabbed a firefly. It's pleasantly scorching uh, to the touch. I put it on my shoulder. I'm sorry, little guy. Time to come home now. As if it was in order, the firefly slowly drifts up, circles around my head for a bit, and then flies into my ear with the speed of a bullet. It tickles. One down. Let's look for the others. How many are there? There was like, there was like a, a quite a bit of them. Alright, we're helping Milk Chen. Hopefully this is a good kind of help. Hopefully we're not, like, making bad decisions. I want her to be happy. Alright, here we go. Bumping. Oh. It's not easy to get out of here. Uh, what does that mean? Plants. Right, insects enjoy pollinating the flowers and stuff like that. Do fireflies do that? I don't think fireflies do that. Uh, yeah, I guess. I go to the flower shelf, I sniff around. The leaves the leaf smell of dust and cardboard, and death. You know those plants are long dead, right? Uh, I'm not sure a dead plant would be able to attract any insects. Well, we kind of don't have a choice here, you know. Still, you're right. Let's continue searching. <sighs> Why don't you just throw them out? Were you listening to me at all? Yeah, you don't want to move anything. Listen, I want to I wanna help her. Stop being mean. Uh, laptop. I'll come here, laptop. I haven't touched it for years, so it's covered with a layer of dust and thick as my finger. Ew. A bizarre item. I fear it. Why? It's a long and boring story. Wonderful. Tell me about it. Um. I insist. I don't remember how it appeared in my room. One of my parents probably brought it here because they couldn't find a better place for it. They didn't prohibit me from using it. On the other hand, they encouraged me to do so. Uh, sure, I spent my whole days in front of the screen. Games, drawing, engineering, calculator, 3D modeling. Uh, so much fun stuff to do. <coughs> you, ha you had amusing homies. Yeah, I did, before entering the web. Internet bad. Imagine this, you're a hamster that lives underground. You have everything for comfortable living. Uh, did you imagine? As always, we had <laughs> analogies are spot on. Okay, I imagine. Alright, so you're a uh, hamster that lives underground, you have everything for comfort of living, okay? Okay. Wonderful. And here's the situation. You're a hamster that lives... Okay. Okay, got it. Do you want to talk about something else? Yeah. Uh... Fine. Suddenly, a firefly slurp crawls out of the laptop. Spent grill! Let's go for it. I reach for it. It gets to the top of my palm, freaking all the while. I think it's trying to say something. I can see that myself. If only I knew what... Looks like a cipher. What's it? Fucking blinking Morse code at us. I changed my mind. I have absolutely no desire to find out what it wants to say. The firefly stops going for a moment after that. Then it starts going again, as if it's coming back to its senses. For some time, it thinks about the third course of its action, then flies up and dashes into my ear. Let's continue searching. Jesus Christ. A magazine. Oh, a sketchbook. Uh, half of its pages are blank, which means it's still good for a couple years. You draw that rarely. Why? Uh, isn't it obvious? If I run out of pages, I have to buy a new sketchbook. I can't get to the uh, stationery store on foot. I'll have to take the bus. Do you even realize what kind of nightmare that can turn into? Well, maybe you can ask your mom to buy you one. No, we don't want to talk to mom. She's mean. I go through the sketchbook, stepping over the wires, the sleeping bag, the cracks in the laminate, and the windows reflection. The sketchbook is lying on the stool. From my height, it seems like the stool is missing two legs. I squat down and look again. All the legs are in place. Well, I'd be able to think of an interesting allegory. 
Oh, let's not go there. Okay. I stand up and study a sketchbook from inches away. Its pages are pure white. The last drawing is buried on the previous page, the way it should be. Too bad. I'd love to see it. Maybe next time. A sudden gust of chilling winds breaks into the room and makes this page rustle. Oh no. I shut my eyes. A distinctive sound of pages turning echoes with headache in my head. I know what's going to happen. The rest of has stopped, even though the wind is still howling from every direction. It can only mean one thing. The notebook is open on the first page. If I wait a little longer, the wind will close it. Why don't you like it? I, uh, I won't have to look if I wait a little longer. If I wait... Open your eyes. No. It's okay, just do it. No way, I know you're lying. Calm down. No. Calm down. This happened in, This happened last time. I was telling her to like... And she freaked out. And the game ended. <laughs> I don't want to do that to her. But I don't have any other option, really. No. No. Oh. Calm down. Let's go, Milk Chan. You're cool. Fine. I put my eyes with utmost caution. The notebook is still open in the middle. No drawings, nothing. The pages are still pure white. Did I imagine it? I don't know, did you? You're the smart one here, you tell me. Next time, don't close your eyes. What did you... I couldn't finish speaking because the pages started moving again. Don't close your eyes. Don't make me do it, I'm scared. Trust me. You're, you're strong, Milk Chan. Uh, the rosin grows louder, the pages lift up. I can almost see the outlines of drawings on previous pages. No way, everything that is in the past should stay in the past. You couldn't convince me. That's it, I'm closing my eyes. Look, there. A very visible light seeps through the pages, with every new gust becomes brighter and brighter. Is it a firefly? Yep. <laughs> The wind immediately stops for a moment, the world sinks into a perfect silence, but only for a moment. The buzz that has always been haunting me fills the surroundings, but it doesn't matter now. Goodness gracious, little boy, you made me so scared. It flies and enters my ear. I spent some time looking for the perfect spot in my head, but then it's buzzing and dies down. I guess they are supposed to be like memories or thoughts, so I guess it makes sense they're going into her head, but still kind of creepy. You okay? I'm running short on time, so let's continue searching. Alright. Did that. Let's try the cupboard. Backwards and almost fall over. The closet is hanging under the ceiling. At least 300 feet. Of, 300 feet? That's, that's kind of a lot. Are you joking? Even though it's my room, not everything here is for me to use. But whatever. I don't care. Yeah, I don't care at all. Like, totally. And I'm definitely not worried. <laughs> not even the littlest bit. Not even a smidgen of the littlest bit. Not even for a thousandth of a percent. That's how much I don't care. Hey, I'm not even done telling you how much I don't care. For this moment on, I'm ignoring you. Oh, no you don't. Then act normal. Alright, so... Uh... Let's not touch that for now. <laughs> what, is, what are those? Uh, those. Those are the photos of my best memories. But they're blank. I stared at them so intensely that I burned them with my eyes. <laughs> Now they're just covering the cracks in the walls. Cracks? Forget it. Are we continuing to search or what? Okay. Uh, it's like an AC. Try in here. Uh, I doubt it. All the compartments are locked. What if? I don't even want to think about what's inside. Who knows what I'll end up imagining. Alright then. Uh, sleeping bag. This is my sleeping bag. It's soft and warm. I'm sure that no living creature would be able to resist the temptation to spend a minute or two inside. They want to dig deep into it with a couple of favorite items, close their eyes, and then... Hey, did you fall asleep? Oh, huh? I gently slapped my cheek to return myself to senses. It's already way past midnight. Usually I'd be sleeping like a log at this time, but right now, I can't. Let's continue searching. You look so tired, Milk Chan. Why don't you just go to bed? Maybe we'll find something inside. Nah, my thought doesn't have a feature of putting... Is that a feature of putting to sleep? Quite the contrary, they always cause insomnia, just like tonight. What? I said searching here is meaningless. Alright then. Let's try the trash. I don't even know what those are. They look like... I don't know. I go to the way spin, look inside with it in curiosity. Pill packaging, notebook pages, and other garbage. Boring. I love her little smoke face. There's nothing here. Indeed, no self-respecting firefly will hide in a heap of garbage. Can't disagree with you there. Uh, backpack. 
Look down, my school bag, worn down and silly, uh, is almost screaming of its own uselessness. For another angle, it looks like a full belly. Its contents are so uh, regurgitating, decomposing, and it can turn it into a sticky, mushy substance. Uh, what a cool image. I need to remember this. Uh, senseless. Just say not cool. Tell me what's inside your bag instead. Nothing special, mostly just all sorts of books. I've taken out all the pens and notebooks out of there, and I'm not interested in anything else. Used to go to school. Yeah, I did. I had a blast all the way. Are you sure you understood my question? Do you think everything in my life should be doom and gloom? Well, you're on. <laughs> all right. What did you like most there? Um. Well, the room is really bright. Not like at home. That's it. Don't rush me. Let me remember. <laughs> well, the beds were also soft, and the food was nice. By the way, I did all the classes. The others always skipped. Good job, Milk Chain. They probably got told off so hard. I smiled gently, it was over in warm memories. You never graduated though. Yeah. Do you remember your last day? It was a normal day. Dad picked me up earlier than usual. He told me that I'm already too old for the school curriculum. I also realized that some time ago the tasks were t t way too easy. Then we got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there, we had dinner, and went to our rooms. Then what happened? I don't remember, and does it even matter? Tell me about it. Is your memory that bad? Please. Oh, fine. That day, Dad picked me up from school earlier, explained to me that I need to grow up. It's not like I could completely grasp what he meant. Either way, I didn't resist. We got into the car and went home. Mom greeted us there. We had dinner together and went to our separate rooms. Satisfied? That doesn't explain why you dropped out. Because you didn't mention anything about having delusions. And I feel like, you know, t trying to get her to remember stuff is what happens with the fireflies, so... Dad dragged me to the school building while I was scratched, scratching and biting. The teachers didn't interfere. The scene was ordinary for them. Who knows what the little brat have done. Then he pushed me into the car, and we drove home in complete silence. Mom greeted us there. We had to dig together and went to our separate rooms. Please, let's not discuss this further. No, you'll tell me again. <laughs> she looks high. <laughs> Dad bought milk on our way home. Again. I hate milk so much. Mom was not home. Again. I hate mom so much. Suddenly, I feel someone's eyes on my back, knowing that their moment should never been ignored. I turn around, but there's nothing there. I got an achievement. You're annoying. I'm sorry. Everything that happened next happened after something that led to everything that happened after everything that happened. Look at my bag again. Light pouring into the room through the window, glint at the metal parts, and there's also a shadow underneath it, which means it's real, sadly. Whatever, I don't care anyway. I almost ended up kicking the bag in the feet of a sudden anger, but I managed to stop myself in the nick of time. If I move in even an inch, the whole picture will collapse and I'll go blind. It has already happened countless times. What do you mean you go blind? I spent months memorizing the location of every item in the room. That's why I can see them so clearly and vividly. You won't get it. <laughs> Look at your feet. I look down and see that a small insect is crawling towards me from the bag. It's barely going, and it can't even fly. I guess this firefly is really tired. I meant none to pick it up. The fire starts going brightly as soon as I touch it, and then flies up. There you go, boy. Good job. After doing a victory lap around the room, it flies towards me high speed. I shut my eyes, anticipating the firefly to enter my ear. That's exactly what happens. After getting inside, it buzzes for a little while, and then goes silent. This one was kind of sad. I wonder why. It doesn't matter. What matters is that it's no honor alone. Sure, let's continue searching. Um, no. Oh, get the mound of pills and makes me feel dizzy. I don't want to think about it. I don't. What's wrong? The music, Jesus Christ. I've almost skipped my dose for today. How reckless I could have died. Hey, calm down. Yeah, because you ordered me to. Is that an accusation that uh, things could have been worse? <sighs> Ugh. Of course not is what saved me. Well, that's reasonable. I heave a deep sigh, come closer, and extend my hand. Wow, it's warm. The moment those words leave my lips, one of the bottles overturns, pills run out, and along with them, a firefly. Hooray. After circling above my head a couple of times, it finally lands on my palm. The firefly rushes up my arm, and upon reaching my shoulder, I crawls straight into my ear. My mind becomes a bit clearer. No, I don't want to finish searching. Umbrella. Umbrella named it a faint sense of c coolness. No wonder it's the only thing that defends me against the thunderclouds that gather above under my ceiling. 
It's such a blessing that I can do it without my help. Still, a firefly won't hide in a place like that. It will catch a cold and I'll be unable to fly. You don't want to check it. Why? I'm sure if we find anything, I'm not sure. I'm sure we won't find anything here. All right, then. I miss with that radio. It's the AC towards a very high place under my ceiling. I can hear a countless number of small legs marching inside the AC unit. God. Oh well. What happened? Fireflies can't be friends without with cockroaches. We better look somewhere else. How would cockroaches be there? Have you forgotten? You were the one who told me to think of my thoughts as cockroaches. Yeah, but they became fireflies afterwards, but cockroaches don't disappear just like that. So they occupied this place. Do you understand now? I mean, I... Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> all different. That's recording something backwards. That literally sounds like the fucking kill her now meme. Oh my god. Okay, they're all just radios. Um, the fan. I think, I think the fan and the, the whatever this is. Alright. What's funny about the fan, Milk Chan? I imagine myself being a firefly that's looking straight at a giant fan. Fan? I'd be so jealous. The only thing preventing it from flying is the cage that's locked in and the cable. It's like an inmate if you think about it. It's so sad. Yeah. Let's continue searching. Okay, so it's just the radio. Oh. Look at the alarm clock. Time continues in stoppable flow. Oh. Uh, it's so late. Are you tired? You bet I am. I let out a theatric yawn and hold out my arms to the sides. One, two. Then I raise them above my head. Three, four. Maybe a little workout will help me freshen up. Good idea. Do you remember the exercise you've been taught? I think so. I take a hesitant stance. What was it? Heels together, toes apart. Whatever, I'll go with that. Count down five minutes. Fine, you have a clock right in front of you, though. I can't look at its hands for too long. At first, I feel like they'll start moving in the wrong direction, and then they disappear altogether. And then things always get messy. Last time I saw a pair of eyes on the clock face. And also, I used to hear voices back in the day. They pleaded for help, I think. What a mess. Truly a mess. It was a mess, right? A mess. Well, are you counting down? My god, finally. <laughs> what do you mean? I was trying to get through to you for half an hour. Huh? <laughs> Forget it, DC. Did you see the firefly? No. Let's continue searching then. Oh. Uh. Usual notebook pages glued to the wall with duct tape. Numbers are drawn on them. It's the only kind of information I can take in without trouble. Dosage and side effects? Damn, that's sad. Yeah. I thought you know them by heart. Yeah. This is not your handwriting. Is it mom's? Of course it's not. Shaky broken lines, ugly numbers. It's not Ryan's mark claw marks. Oh, is it just a doctor's writing? Oh, uh, don't forget to thank your mom. I don't need your advice. My scream makes the pages rustle restlessly. After a moment, a firefly appears from underneath one of them. After looking around in a, in a business-like manner, it takes off into a business-like flight and ends up entering my business-like ear. <laughs> hey. Let's continue searching. A business-like... Oh, toothbrush. Turn my eyes towards an inconspicuous shelf near the mirror. There's a glass with a toothbrush sitting on it and a small towel hanging nearby. What a wonderful sight. My fireflies are smart and good. They would never get in there. They know about personal hygiene. <laughs> okay. That's just the radio again. Still just checking before I click on whatever fucking nightmare that is. But I think that's it. Yep. Alright. I can't even click on them. I've searched everywhere, haven't I? I feel like I have. I 
I can't click on it. Well, I guess... Cool. So there's radio. We have three radios. That's interesting. Yeah, I guess finish searching. She looks happy. Yeah, let's go. Okay, yeah, I wish I knew. <laughs> you found all the fireflies. Amazing. I guess. What? I managed to gather my thoughts, but something still worries me. On the other hand, I wasn't supposed to be happy anyway. Why not? I want you to be happy, Milk Jan. If I lose something and then find it, it's just going back to the starting point. No change at all. A zero sum. And happiness is always about being positive, right? You shouldn't think too much. It hurts you. I want to sleep. How about you get some fresh air before sleeping? What do you mean? Well, go to the balcony. Breathe in some air. Somehow, those words triggered a panic attack in me. I subconsciously step away from the balcony. I don't think it's a good idea. Why? This may sound silly, but... I feel like someone is watching me. There's no way, no... No, alright, I'll stay here. Yeah. What are you going to do? What's with this silly question? I'm going to sleep, of course. Hoping that tomorrow will only come after a year or a decade. Imagining myself to be outside of my mortal shell, but at the same time, still being me. Ridiculous, like milk outside of a bag of milk. <laughs> yeah, good, good, good one, Milk Chan. And yet, you don't have to talk out loud for me to understand what you're worried about me. I know that already. I also know that our time is running short. You won't take another pill. Of course not. In fact, I won't take it tomorrow either. The day after tomorrow. And never ever. It's a goodbye then. No. I have one more small favor to ask. A really, really small one. What is it? I've boarded out way too much today. A lot of stuff I'd want to forget forever. I don't blame you, but was it really necessary? You'll see tomorrow. No, I won't. I won't be able to sleep like this. Fine, what's the favor? I, uh... I never see scratch my wrist and bite on my lower lip. You're afraid to tell me? Yeah. I'm also scared that something bad might happen if I tell you. I'm also scared that when something bad happens, something way worse will happen. Stop, I get it already. Still, I won't leave you alone until you tell me. Bully. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> She's going to bed. This music is normal, that's good. I crawl into my sleeping bag, the lower part of the room is very cold. I hurry to wrap myself in blankets even though the electric heater is working hard to keep me warm. I'm sad because the dream just won't come anymore. You won't believe me if I tell you how I dealt with it at first. Of course I'll believe you. I know, it was a joke. <laughs> okay. Well anyway, I wash my face, brush my teeth, lie down and start imagining that I'm watching a dream. I didn't sleep at all, of course, and always looking sleepy in the morning. After a week of insomnia, I started feeling weird and seeing things. Letters flew in there, strange silhouettes that appeared to be most unexpected of places, bulging eyes with trembling pale pupils. It was scary, you know. Then one day, I almost died. I just collapsed in the middle of the room and couldn't move for a while. And then silhouettes, the letters and eyes were hanging over me and hissing. It was horrible. And well deserved, I guess? No. I felt like I was caught on the biggest lie in the world. Yes, I felt exactly like that. After that, I stopped. But the silhouettes, the letters and eyes stayed here. I guess they liked this place. They always fall in my wake, peeping at me, and I'm scared of them and can't even argue with them. But today, today, well, I still too scared to tell me. Of course, they're still listening, you know. Use your hands, alright? I start chaotically twirling my fingers with enthusiasm from complex shapes. You want me to tell you a bedtime story? Shush. And I was trying so hard to hear, don't you get it? They'll hear you. That's adorable. Relax, nobody can hear you. So, what do you say? I'd be happy to, but I have no idea how to tell them. Oh, it's incredibly easy. Just talk about something without stopping. Sounds silly, but it's not. Meaningless. You don't know what you're talking about. I know enough to, to realize that we'll just end up wasting time. No, I want to tell her it's, that's really cute. Let's focus on something actually important. Boring. <laughs> Fine. Close your eyes. 
I got an achievement, you won't get it. Oh, this looks like the first game. It is the first! I look up on a wooden bench, in front of me lies a narrow, dimly lit alley, an awfully familiar road. Where could I have seen it? Finally. Who are you? I hear a voice coming from the side. I turn around and see a boy with a weird expression on his face. You're late. Um, who are you? The boy blinks in a bewilderment. We're not going anywhere like this. Try again. He takes a very deep breath. You are late. I stare at him, confused. He stares back, also confused. Sorry? The boy nods, satisfied. See? Much better. Do you have a name? My name's Tresca. I give the I give the brat an evaluating look. He's still young, yet already coming with questions like that. None of your business. And besides, will anyone tell me what I'm doing here? Hey, that's rude. It's not like there's somebody else here besides me. Haven't they told you anything? I know all there is to know, for one. But what? You're obligated to escort me to the store. Tresca says that and strikes a victory pose. What does that mean? <laughs> a victory pose? No way, I'm, no way I'm doing that. You do understand their refusal is futile. Well, aren't you full of yourself? I'm serious. I'm not the one who decided that. Do you think I'm delighted with your company? He's weird, constantly shifting between happiness, sadness, wildness, silence. He's a wacko, and his name is stupid. <laughs> That's mean. <laughs> Are we going or what? You can go, and I need to think. I'd be happy to, but I don't know the way. Tresco puts on a cunning smile about my well up in frustration. I'll be honest with you, I don't like you. He simply bursts out laughing in reply. I do like you, though. Then he grabs my hand without hesitation. I don't even have time to retort. Lead the way. Our trip to the store went fine. It's not for the fact that Tresco was walking way faster for me. And on the other hand, he, he, uh, at times he stopped abruptly and went backwards, studying on the ground underneath his feet. In the end, the trip took a lot longer than it should. I, After reaching the store's door, we agreed by a sign. We're closing in 20 minutes. You had the bright idea to indicate the working hours in this way. Um, they probably have a special staff for this. Someone who runs and changes the sign every five minutes. It's convenient. Oh, yeah, I guess that's written in Russian, so... I assume. Are you joking? Yeah. You're so annoying. It's much better than being boring. How old are you, by the way? None of your business. Uh, uh, and what's your name? None of your business. I was ready to slap the living hell out of the brat, but a scary looking man suddenly appeared behind the glass. He's wearing a cardboard sign that says, we're closing in 15 minutes. Let's go, what are you waiting for? Huh? Oh yeah. Yeah, this is the, this is the exact frame from the first game. After another round of going across the one row of canned products, we realized that we're lost. I can't believe you don't know where they sell milk. I, uh, maybe we should ask somebody for directions. Sure. Hey, wait up. Tresca lets go of my hand and walks confidently towards one of those few store's customers. That person is standing with their back to us, studying something on the shelf. Hello, can I? I can't hear neither the second part of his question, nor the reply he gets, but my good-for-nothing friend freezes in place, looking at the customer straight in the eyes. I hurry toward them. Is he yours? The customer talks to me. He speaks to me with disgust while wearing a scornful expression. What does that mean? Is he... Uh, I, uh, what is happening? If it's yours, please get him away from me. Uh, yes, I'm sorry. I grab Tresca's hand and lead him away. He's still looking at the customer. His mouth ajar and eyes popped. He's also shaking. Uh, only when we turn around the corner, Tresca comes down. What the fuck was that? <laughs> what was that? I, I got so scared, he said. What? No, not again. Suddenly, Tresca starts screaming like crazy. I cover his mouth with my hand. His face is burning. He's crying. Can you act normal? You don't understand. Of course I don't. I don't understand anything. And knowing other people is still wrong, though, and this is something you don't understand, it seems. You're mean. Who, me? Oh, Tresca pushes me away and runs off. Why? Is this... Drat. <laughs> At the edge of my vision, I see the store staff hang a new sign on the door. What, ten minutes? There you are. I mean, Tresca at the cash register. Before that, I managed to visit the milk department after finding out where it was. Hey, you, move. I hear an angry voice coming from the other side of a long queue that has formed after Tresca has squeezed towards them. What happened? The boy doesn't respond. He just looks at his feet and sniffs. The cashier uh, towers over him. There's a bag of milk lying between them. Is he yours? Yes. Just leave him, uh, leave him home next time. People in the queue nod in agreement. Pay for the goods, please. Yes, of course. 
in the waiting fee. What? You heard me. I did, but that's unheard of. Just starts giggling all of a sudden. And for the fact that your son is a retard, Jesus. But <laughs> you heard me. You know what? In a fit of rage, I throw a banknote at the cashier. Much higher value than needed, even counting in all the stupid fees, and grab a milk and turn up around my heels. Jesus Christ, that guy was an asshole. We're leaving, Tresca. Also, this video is way longer than it should, but I'm too invested. Uh, also, I want this to be a video because it's the anniversary, so. We spend a whole trip back in silence. At some point, we end up turning right towards the gas station. There, and Tresca finally breaks the silence. Do you like ice cream? No. Okay. <laughs> I look at the. Alright, good conversation. I look at the boy's face. A light flickers in his eyes for a brief moment and goes out. You know. He turns away from the path and walks straight towards the highway. The termination. I stare at his back, confused. Don't do anything stupid, Trick. That's fucking weird looking. <laughs> it seems like you're not helping me at all. A new playful light flickers in Trick's eyes. Oh, okay, that was a dream. Oh, she's crying. What the fuck is happening now? What? <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> uh, but still, I had all. I, I still liked it. I mean, it's just like what? <laughs> Nikita Kruvkov, I think I'm saying that right. Sorry if not. Okay, so she was able to go to sleep. That's a good thing. But she started crying. So I don't know if it was a good thing. Did we help her or not? <laughs> I don't know. Because, <laughs> I mean, the point of the first game was to get the milk, and we got the milk. We did the good bit. But this one was like, I don't know if we did good or not. I hope I did good. I mean, I helped gather the fireflies. There was still that weird glitchy part that I didn't... I don't know what that was. Um... Uh... I'm trying to think, because I, 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 I tried to be nice to her, and I felt like I did a good job about being nice to her. I don't know. Special thanks. Alright. Thorp? <laughs> Thorp. Alright then. <laughs> Couldn't name a fucking character after that next time I play a game. <laughs> Anything else? No. Alright then. Well, just about an hour too. Alright, so. Well, th thanks for watching if you watch this. Um. Uh, yeah, happy one year anniversary of Degeneracy. Um, I'll probably play this in my again in my own time, because I want to see all the endings. Because last time I perfected it, because there's only like five achievements, so I'll check what the, like, the Steam achievements are for this. But, um, uh, yeah, so this should be the 30th, that's a Thursday. Um, I'll, after this, I should, everything should be back to normal. Monday will be Raccoon, and Thursday will be the beginning of One Shot, which I've already finished re recording, so that shows you how out of whack all my shit are. My shit are. <laughs> shit are. <laughs> um, uh, I was thinking of doing Super Luminal after Raccoon, but I'm not 100% sure anymore, because I'm starting to like doubt myself, because it's a puzzle game, and I'm really bad at puzzles, so... Maybe I'll find something else, maybe not. Who knows, but um, thank you for watching. And if you have been watching since the very beginning, which I don't know how many people have, but thank you. Um, uh, they are living inside your walls. They are listening to this video right now, by the way. Um, they know all your all your information. Uh, if, you're, if you're watching this like on your bed, they're just like wrecked behind you, even if there's a wall behind you, but I, as I mentioned, they're living inside the walls, so they're just looking at you constantly right now. Um, bye.